like that. Wow. Welcome back to JR Pro Shop Vids, everyone. We got a very special video today. We're gonna talk about what ball is best to buy for your very first ball ever. Well, we got three balls here on the table. We got the Purple Hammer. This is probably the most asked about ball in the Pro Shop that me and Barks come across. We got the brand new Supra Rally from Motive. And also we have a Brunswick Rhino here, one of the most popular entry-level reactives that we sell here in the shop. So let's talk a little bit about these three and which one would be best for you to buy as your first ball. So one of the most popular balls that we sell here in the shop to a first time bowler getting their first ball is the Rhino line here. It comes in five separate colors. It's an entry level reactive. So it gives you a little bit of down lane motion, but not a lot of hook, not a lot of crazy hook that you can't control it. It's very durable and it comes with a two year warranty. So if the ball cracks or splits or anything from the two years that you buy it, They'll send you a new one scot-free. So to build off that, every brand has entry-level reactive balls. Storm has the Tropical Surge line, comes in multiple colors, very, very similar in terms of amount of hook and where the ball hooks. Brunswick also has the Twist line, same thing, multiple colors, very similar in amount of boards hooked. And the Raw Hammer line, which again, very, very similar. Not much hook, but very good entry-level reactive balls, multiple colors. So. If you're looking at an entry level reactive, you probably have 20, 25 colors to choose from. So moving up from the Rhino here, we have the new Motive Supra Rally. This ball is a little bit more expensive. It's gonna hook a little bit more down lane because of the design. It's designed to hook in a very specific way. And we would consider this ball to be performance level. So if you're a league or tournament bowler, this is gonna be one of your balls in your bag when you're bowling on a little bit drier conditions when there's not much oil out there or in a long format tournament near the end of the day when lots of the oil has been evaporated off the lane, uh, this is the kind of ball that you're gonna wanna switch to. Uh, and then last and definitely not least, we got the Purple Hammer here from Hammer. Gotta be one of the most asked about balls here in the shop. Everyone asks about it because they see it on TV all the time, all the guys are using it all the time. Almost every league bowler here in our center has one or a pitch black, which is a very similar one just from Storm. The reason why we put it on this table and comparing it today is because Lots of new bowlers are coming in wanting this ball for their very first ball. And I have to explain to them that a urethane ball such as the Purple Hammer is probably not ideal for your very first ball just because it's pretty specific in what it's meant for. It's meant for a lot of oil and fresh oil, like when the lanes are freshly conditioned right before a league or tournament. And it's gonna hook very early and it's gonna hook very smooth. So if you're looking for some down lane motion, some down lane curve in your fresh new bowling ball, this Purple Hammer is not really gonna give that to you. So if you're moving up the ranks, you're getting better, you're gonna join the league, you're gonna bowl some tournaments and you have a couple balls already and you're looking for a third or fourth ball, then I would really suggest a urethane ball like the Purple Hammer here or a Pitch Black from Storm. So today we got Simu on the lanes. He's gonna throw all three of these balls on a freshly oiled lane and we're gonna see what they do and why we think the Rhino here or an entry level reactive that is very similar to this is your best bet for your very first bowling ball ever. So you'll see out in the lanes, the Rhino here is gonna hook right in the middle of these two. It's gonna hook down lane, it's gonna curve a little bit. It's gonna be very smooth and predictable. I think this one's gonna out hook it by a few boards and you're gonna see that it's gonna hook a little bit more sharp off the back end. So if you're a new bowler, you're not very consistent with your release or your speed, you're gonna see how uncontrollable this can be when it hooks off the back end of the lane. And you're also gonna see how very early and smooth the Purple Hammer is and why you should not get this as your first ball, but maybe as your third or fourth ball in the lineup. All right, let's go watch Simu throw these balls and see how they react against one another. On the lanes today, testing three different bowling balls to see which one you should purchase if you're in the market for your very first bowling ball. First off, I got the Rhino from Brunswick. For each of the balls today, we're gonna throw them in three different zones. We're gonna start on the very outside, which is where the lanes are the driest, meaning the most amount of friction and the ball should curve the most.
So something that's really great with those entry level balls is that no matter what brand, what color, what ball you choose, the performance is relatively consistent and relatively controllable. You won't see huge amounts of curves like the higher price points, but if you're looking to get into bowling, have a little bit of curve on your shots, entry level balls might be the best bet for you. So now we're gonna move to the middle part of the lane. I'm gonna try to throw it out to the right, find that friction which creates the curve, and then try to get it back to the pocket. So you can tell there, again, not crazy out of this world curve, very smooth, very controllable. And if all you want to do is see a little bit of hook on your bowling ball, again, there's so many different options for you. All right, so now we're going to move to the far left. This is where most of the oil is going to be towards the middle of the lane when I throw it. So that means I got to throw it a little bit slower and really try to get the ball to curve hard going into the pins. So that was good. A lot of the times these lower end balls don't get that much overall motion. And so just because it's an entry level ball doesn't mean you can't get a lot of hook out of it. So let's try one more time from there. So again, with these entry level balls, if you can slow it down and really work on getting that form right, you can still get a lot of curve and really impress your friends. All right, we're halfway through the video, which means we're gonna ask you a question to answer down below in the comments. Pretty simple one today. What was your first bowling ball? And if you don't have one, which one are you planning on buying? For me, one of my junior coaches when I was about 12 or 13 gave me a 14 pound green hornet. In hindsight, I have no clue if that ball is good or not, but let me know down in the comments what's your answer. So now I'm gonna throw the brand new Super Rally from Motive. In terms of price point, this one is slightly higher. We would call it about a mid-performance ball. But something that's really interesting about this ball is that it's pretty different from others in the market. It gets down the lane super easy, which means it goes pretty far down the lane, and it has a really, really hard hook shape. So if you think about a hockey stick, goes down and then curves, that's exactly what you can see with the Super here. So again, starting far right, up the friction. See that hockey stick. You really see that hard corner that the Super makes that the Rhino necessarily didn't. The Rhino being a little bit weaker, a little bit lower end, kind of just stayed there and went through the pins. But if you throw this ball into the friction earlier with the Supra, it definitely hooks harder. So this is gonna look a lot better when there's a little bit more oil in the inside, but you still get it to the friction, gives it more room to shape. So I'm gonna try to do that. Back towards the middle a little bit. So compared to the Rhino, it definitely curves more overall. You can see where the ball finishes. It's pretty far towards that left side and it really retains its energy really, really strong. Really like that. You could tell that it's very, very smooth going down the lane, getting through that oil really nicely. And once it sees the friction, it turns really hard. So if you're someone who likes to play Kind of in the middle, more left. You have an entry performance ball, but you bowl in somewhere that hooks a lot, say somewhere with wood lanes, that super rally might be really good for you. Now this one might surprise you, especially for a first ball. But in the shop, we get a lot of questions asking about urethane and specifically this purple hammer. Pros throw it all the time. They seem to love it, strike with it nonstop. But what about for regular bowlers like me and you? Again, starting up the right side. Wow. So that's urethane. That's why so many people love it. It's very, very controllable. But something that you should know about urethane is that it does hook really, really early. So if you're throwing it on the wrong conditions, sometimes it'll curve too early and have no energy to go through the pins. Another thing is that it also eats up a lot of oil and also pushes it down. So for the pros, when they're bowling on these heavier conditions, more than me and you at our typical leagues or house shots, they need to really, really control the pocket. So if you're looking for your very first bowling ball and you see all the pros throwing it, that doesn't mean it's necessarily the first ball that we would recommend. That being said, head towards the middle, see how it does.
However, if you are in the market specifically for a urethane ball, that purple hammer is one of the most popular ones out there. Pros love it, my brother loves it, Barks loves it. This is my first time throwing it and I'm actually blown away. Compared to other urethane balls, I find that it hooks more, but it's also a lot more controllable. So it's weird in between, you get the best of both worlds, but let's see how it does on the very far left. I'm thinking not great. So with the urethane there, you may see all 10 pins go down and think that was a really good strike, but it was also what we like to say a little bit lazy down late. Because the oil is so heavily concentrated in the middle, it was really trying to fight through that and wasn't able to have that hard turn into the pins that we saw with the other two balls. So the general rule of thumb when you're using urethane, it's better to play a little bit straighter and closer to the gutter. Again, I really like this ball, so I'd like to show you that. If it's something that you're really in the market for, you really can't go wrong with a purple hammer. But compared to some of the other balls, if you're not bowling on a lot of oil, you bowl on a lot of house shots, probably not the best first ball for you. So I showed you where I thought the purple hammer is best from. I thought the rhino was actually really nice from the middle, just because it's so versatile. So let's see that one more time. Very smooth, very controllable, very predictable. You really can't go wrong with that for the price point. And did I mention there's a ton of different colors for you to choose from. And now to the Super Rally here, a great example of a mid-level performance ball where maybe you have another ball and you know what specific shape you're looking for or what lanes and formats you're bowling often in. So for something like this, I would say wood lanes, you bowl in a league that plays tons of games or tournaments that go super, super long. And again, this is good for making that hockey stick shape down lane once you get it outside to the friction. All right, so you saw all the different balls there. Let's talk about it a little bit more in the shop. So I'm back from bowling. Let's talk about the three different bowling balls that I threw. Again, we're gonna start with the entry level ball. For me, this is the Rhino. Again, as I mentioned, every company has their own sort of Rhino entry level ball. For Storm, they have the Tropical. Brunswick makes the Twist. There's tons of different balls available and they come in tons of different colors. So when we're in the shop here, we sell tons of these entry level balls especially for people who are trying to get away from house ball or from something like a plastic ball. And there's tons of good reasons why. For starters, this ball hooks. It's meant to curve a little bit, but also not curve uncontrollably. This means that you can take it, play multiple different parts of the lanes like I did, but also take it to any bowling alley with you and trust that you're still gonna see some curve. There's tons of different colors and designs so you can really show off your style and it's really good from graduating up different lines. So this is an entry level ball. And once you get used to controlling it, throwing it a little bit more consistent, it's really easy to move up the levels to a different ball. But for the price point, you can't really go wrong with an entry level ball. You can still strike with it and you don't need to be spending hundreds of dollars for your very first one. So taking a small step up from the rhinos and those entry levels, we have a mid-performance bowling ball like the Motive Super Rally here. So the Motive Super Rally is actually on the lower end of that middle performance range. With that being said, the middle level here is more geared towards your league or tournament bowlers. So if you wanna learn a little bit more about this ball in depth, make sure to check out our ball review up here. But basically, this is gonna be the very bottom level of your tournament or league bowler because it's gonna hook the least. So with something like a mid-performance bowling ball here, they're very different in terms of the way that they're specified and the conditions that they're meant for. This super rally here is very sharp down lane. Again, as I explained, that kind of hockey stick motion. It goes very straight and then turns very hard versus the Rhino, which was a lot more smooth and predictable. With this ball being so sharp down lane, that also comes with the trade-off of you having to be very consistent in where you throw the ball. So if you're going from something like a house ball where you're used to bowling once a week with your friends, going to something like this might be a little bit uncontrollable and pretty frustrating in the end. So that's why something like a Rhino or entry level ball is very important to start with. Moving on, let's talk about urethane. As Jungle talked about in the introduction, urethane is actually a different material than these two balls here. A lot of people will come into the shop and ask us specifically about this purple hammer here, if this should be the very first ball that they buy. And 99% of the time we say no. A very important factor to keep in mind when looking at urethane bowling balls is that very often they need lots of oil. So this is why league and tournament bowlers will use it 
because every time they bowl, their lanes are freshly oiled and they know that there's gonna be a lot out there versus when they're just randomly coming into practice. Versus from when you're just bowling open play when you don't know when the last time the lanes were oiled or how many people have been on the lane before you. Urethane is very much a specialty ball, especially because of the way that it rolls. It's very unique in the sense that it rolls very, very early and very smooth. So if you're looking at buying a bowling ball for the very first time and you want to really get that curve motion, you're not going to see it with urethane compared to these two balls here. So as you saw when I was throwing the ball, it's not a big crazy hook shape, but instead it's a very gradual, slow and continuous hook. That's really important for league bowlers like me who are looking to have a lot of consistency and really control the shape of my bowling ball so I don't go right through the middle and leave a split. As you saw when I threw the ball from the far left side, urethane has a really hard time creating angle and shape into the pins versus something like the Super Rally which does it super, super easily. This is why it's really important to have a wide range of bowling balls when you do start joining leagues and going more consistently. But if you're just going to buy one for your very first time, it doesn't really make sense to have the two extremes of the spectrum. Again, that's why entry level balls are important, especially for your first time, just to get used to throwing a ball that fits your hand properly. So three different levels of bowling balls. Hopefully we answered some of your questions that you have. Let me know down in the comments below, what was your first bowling ball? or what bowling ball you're looking at getting after watching this video. So thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. We do tons of different videos here for all different levels, whether that's product reviews, tips and tricks, coaching, and tons more. We hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.